So that's why acting on even the things that seem to be out there that excite you is a sure way to get in greater touch with your ecstasy, with the truth of who you are. Because they're all representations, they're all extensions, leading you back into the greater vibrational completion of who you are. Not that there's an end to it, but it starts to feel complete very soon. And then from complete, there's just more and more ecstasy. Once you realize you're complete, there's just more and more bliss from that point onward. But at least get to the point of completion, which is to have some kind of clarity as to who you wish to be, what is important to you, what you wish to taste more of, how you wish to see yourself. So once a day, have the discipline to do this. Once a day, relax your mind. At least once a day, relax your mind and reconnect to what is possible for you. What would be that highest, most ecstatic version and reach even the threshold of where you can no longer paste images from your past, from what you already know from the human world onto that. It just becomes too bright, just becomes too potential, it just becomes too abstract. It becomes too out there, it becomes too high frequency for you to even know what you're looking at. But you start feeling it, you start downloading it. And then when you have that vision, then suddenly dedication and discipline is effortless because you perceive the value in your life. And you will go with no hesitation. And everything you struggled with, oh, let me try to get rid of this fear and rid of that, that. Oh, I want to be this, but you know, okay, let me take one baby step at a time. It's, none of that applies anymore. You're just clear in one moment because you have a reference point of your true self, even though you can't imagine what it looks like because it's so amazing and you've never experienced amazing. You just think you have. You have no clue what amazing is. But that's a good thing. So you start imagining the truly amazing and you stop being able to put images to it. That's how amazing you are. And from that reverence point, suddenly your dedication to comfort zone, your dedication to working out one fear at a time or not even working out anything just disappears. You transcend that realm of frequency of vibration and you start operating in alignment with your truth and things start flowing through you and inspiration comes and action comes effortlessly and you're not bold. You're not courageous. You're without fear. So you don't need to be courageous. You don't need to take a step. It's natural. It's obvious to you that you're doing what you're doing, that you're being who you're being. There is no hesitation. There is no doubt. There's no question. But if you don't have a reference point, if you don't have a clear image or download or inspiration or sense of who you are, what's important to you, where you want to head in direction of, then of course you're going to be like all the other sheep that populate this planet. And you're going to sing in harmony with them. Sounds exciting? Thank you. Life's meant to be more diverse than we as humans have explored. It's very diverse, but it's all sort of one, di one dimensional still. When everyone achieves their amazingness, that's when things are going to be truly diverse. That's when things are going to be amplified. That's when things are going to change. When every individual becomes their true individuality, knows who they are, what they can be, what is possible for them, and roots themselves in that conviction, in that energy, in that frequency. That's when the world starts to change. Not by keeping everyone the same, not by keeping everyone fearful, not by keeping everyone small and humble, whatever that means. The universe is not humble. The one is not humble. It creates everything that can possibly exist and experiences it all at the same time. How is that humility? That's the greatest arrogance ever. But you are that. You are 100% arrogance. You are 100% confidence. You don't care about anything but yourself. That is existence. And you are that. So don't keep yourself small because that would be the arrogant thing to do. That would be going against the truth of who you are. Be as expanded and confident as you can be. Reach as far as you want to reach. Know that you're amazing to whatever extent you can accept that knowledge. And keep on expanding. Keep on becoming more expanded and more confident. Don't try to keep yourself small, not even out of spiritual service. Because it's not being of service. It's meh. <laughs> until you die. You want to keep on meh until you die? Or you want to do something fun? Hello? <laughs> You're here. 
You created this life. You created this dream to have a good time. So stop living for other people's ideas and start having an amazing time. Know what you want and be clear on that. And that will lead the way. You don't need discipline. You just need to be clear on who you are. So once a day, be dedicated, be excited to sit your ass down for two to five minutes and just imagine, create the most expanded image of yourself. You can come up with the most ecstatic, high frequency, bright, letting light pour into your being kind of vision of yourself, how you wish to carry yourself and what that would look like 10 steps past that, which you can imagine. Tap into that every single day, once a day, and you will very quickly transcend sheepdom. You will become a truly crystalline chandelier of infinity and abundance and love and joy and wisdom and clarity. Okay.